How to use Notebook LM for free. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use this premier research tool completely for free. Now, Google has simplified my life a whole lot with this amazing tool because this is not just an average AI tool. This is a tool that can simplify a lot of your basic work tasks and it's able to provide you with summaries from your videos, from your slides, presentations, from any of your sources. And it's able to give you data in a way that is easy to digest and understand. So what exactly is Notebook LM? This is an AI-powered research partner where you can upload your own sources or link your own sources and get engaging slide summaries with images, diagrams, and you can even build mind maps from your sources. You can build audio overviews and so much more. You have instant insights which can help you in building different types of documentation, whether it's a study guide, whether it's an FAQ, or a briefing doc. You're able to see exactly where the source says something, so your answers are not going to be something that is AI generated or out of the blue. This is going to be something that is from a source that can be authenticated. So you don't have to worry about those types of issues when it comes to citations and you don't have to worry about Google's Notebook LM making up any citation. So to get started with Notebook LM, head on over into notebooklm.google and then click on try Notebook LM. If you already have a Google account you're logged on to, you're directly going to be logged on to Notebook LM and there's no other third party sign up required and you can proceed. Now you can upgrade Notebook LM and we will be discussing the pro plan later on at the end of this video. However, for basic use cases, this is completely for free. Now this is your dashboard and you will have a separate section for my notebooks and then featured notebooks. I'm going to show you guys some things or one exact notebook I've built and then we're going to proceed with building a brand new notebook. So this is the notebook I've built. I've added around 10 sources here and then on the right side, you guys can see it has provided me with a summary. Then I can proceed with typing in my questions and on the bottom it shows me some suggested questions that I can ask. On the right side you have audio overviews, video overviews, mind maps, and then reports. Under reports you have four types, briefing docs, study guides, FAQs, and timelines. So I have built a mind map. If I click on this over here, you guys can see this is the basic mind map. If I click on core areas, it expands. If I click on HRM, it's going to expand further. And then selection training and recruitment. Then if I click on recruitment here, it's going to ask the next question. What these sources say about recruitment in the larger context of human resource management. And then from here, you guys can see that this is all the information that is related to recruitment in my 10 sources. So just like so, we can proceed with building our own notebook as well. Now I have built a audio overview. You guys can see on the right side, it has two different models. So it has a interactive model and a simple play model. The audio overview basically sounds like a podcast. So you can just listen to your sources. Have you ever stopped to truly consider what job performance means? It's a phrase we toss around constantly in the workplace, right? Often seen as, well, the ultimate measure of success in human resources. The ultimate dependent variable, as they say in the research. Exactly. But if you try to pin it down, it's uh, notoriously complex. It really is. So today we're taking a deep dive into this crucial concept. Yeah, our mission is really to strip away the surface. Mm. You know, unpack what job performance truly entails. Yeah. So you guys can see this is what it sounds like. It sounds like a hyper-realistic podcast and it's around 32 minutes from my 10 sources. Obviously, if your content is less than that, your podcast length may vary. Now let's get started with building our own notebook from scratch. So I'm going to click on create notebook. Once you do that, you have to add your sources. Now, if you don't have any sources yet, you can click on discover sources and just add what you are interested in and Google's notebook LM will find sources for you. However, if you already have your own sources, you can upload those files over here, whether it's PDF, TXT, markdown audios, or you can add Google docs, Google slides, links to websites or YouTube videos or even copy and paste your text. There is a source limit of 50 sources per notebook within Google's Notebook LM right now, but this is for the free version. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I do my research and how I like to add my sources. So I'm going to go into Google Scholar and I've just searched work engagement because I want to see what all the latest research about burnout and work engagement is. So I'm going to go on ahead, put in 2021. So since 2021, 
what exactly are we you know looking at when it comes to work engagement what are the studies saying a meta-analysis i don't want meta-analysis i'm gonna proceed with these and i'm just going to open up a couple of different studies now i don't like to read through all of these i just like to just ensure that these are studies and not just books now this is um, another research research then we have this among chinese workers on creative performance and then a study so all of these are accurate to what i'm trying to research now i'm just going to copy the link and then go back into notebook lm and then click on website then i'm just going to paste in the urls you don't have to paste them in separately just copy go back paste copy go back and then paste then i'm going to go into copy go back and then paste then i'm going to go into this one and just like so i'm pasting all of these different sources like so so now i'm just going to move forward and then click on insert now i've inserted a couple of my resources over here and now i've added six resources now i can proceed with actually asking a couple of questions so i have a better understanding of work engagement now two of these were inaccessible you will see if there are any issues in valid urls sometimes because some sources are behind a paywall it's not able to extract any information so you can remove those drivers of work engagement leadership efficacy and reflection so collectively explored the factors influencing work engagement and its impact on performance and reflection across professions the first source investigates how transformational leadership and manager autonomy enhance creative performance through work engagement the second article examines the interconnectedness of self-efficacy, work engagement, and reflection among Chinese foreign language teachers finding positive correlations. And the third resource is offering a social psychological framework for understanding work engagement. Now, I can proceed with asking follow-up questions. I can ask it to build an AI overview for me, as well as build a video overview and a mind map. I personally really like to build a mind map. So just click on mind map over here and select the resources that you want to use when building the mind map. Once you do that, it's going to create your mind map. It has also answered my first question, which is the primary drivers and outcomes of work engagement. So the drivers of work engagement are leadership styles, individual psychological factors, as well as contextual factors, the outcomes of work engagement, productivity, satisfaction, well-being organizational effectiveness, spillover effects. So it has explained all of these things as well. Now, if I click on my mind map, this is what it has built. Now I wanna go into my factors influencing and related. And then I have all of these related factors to work engagement. Now I wanna focus specifically to salary maybe, and then I can take a look at how work engagement and salary are related. So in this way, you can get started with using Notebook LM, one of Google's most amazing research tools out there. Now, this is completely for free if you have a Google account and it's free for individuals. If you want additional audio overviews, notebooks, queries, and sources per notebook, then you can upgrade. You can click on Notebook LM in Pro and you can upgrade to Google's Pro version as well. However, keep in mind that this is included within your AI Pro and AI Ultra subscription, so you can't separate purchase notebook lm you would be purchasing the google ai subscription so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe